Hey everybody, Galusia here, bringing you another episode of Let's Play with No Man's Sky. So I want to run you guys through some quick changes, especially for those of you that aren't watching a building recipe. Uh, because I am putting out a building recipe, a building recipe, a building video, that's just like an S-ton of construction, but not everybody's into that and I recognize that like not everybody's gonna want to watch something like that so for a lot of you we're gonna skip the uh, massive amount of building I did to make some changes but I'm gonna show you the end results because that's quick enough so I expanded the base a little bit so I've got these three rooms now each with a refiner in it so that I can get more refining done in this farming room which we're gonna actually get a guy today since he's in the downstairs, I figured let's add this biodome on the top, and this is where we can plant plants. So I thought that would look cool. Now for my inventory, I've been continuing to expand it. As you can see, it's getting rather large, so I've lined up my things here, which I think is a lot cleaner for all of this stuff. And then um, I've got more cargo slots. My ship is pretty much straightforward. It's the same as it's always been. So I'm going to show you what a typical morning is going to look like now when I sign into this game and what I'm going to have to do. We have to do this basically every time. I don't have to, but I want to. So I have two other bases now. You can see they're both mining facilities. And I have to jump from facility to facility just to collect all the resources that they gather. So on planet number one here, I've got this large setup, and we're currently collecting 14,000 cobalt at a time, Boop. and it takes six and a half hours to generate 14,000 cobalt. Uh, this was an S-class cobalt facility, so it works really good, and then you can just see the base here really quick, nothing crazy, it's just a little thing there, landing pad. And then off in that distance is the electromagnetic generators. And then off in that distance is the mining collectors. Base number two is a little bit more built. Now this was the first one that I built. So I didn't. it's not quite as fancy. I should have put down platforms for everything. Like these are just thrown onto the ground, which is unfortunate. So they're making oxygen. Now they have a max of 14,500. But as you can see, we only have 13,000 because I was playing this game yesterday. And these take forever. You can see to fully fill it, it's going to take almost 12 hours. So obviously I was playing less than 12 hours ago. And then so basically what's happening here is I am manufacturing ionized cobalt from all those mining facilities. And we are going to be wealthy beyond measure. Oops, I forgot to turn it on. I wish you could, like, when you're manufacturing it, you can make a full stack. Because for some reason, it only manufactures less than a half a stack. I feel like it should make a full stack, at least. So, let's take a look at my stockpile of ionized cobalt. Booyah. Add to the... Like, I can't even... I have accomplished it. It is full. I'm gonna take this glass out. <laughs> I'm actually, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and I've been thinking about making another storage bin and putting it on top of it like I have for the yellow and making it just for ionized cobalt. I feel like I need to do that. But it's been, I was so focused on my construction project that I also haven't checked on my freighter in a while. And I did have some dudes out on a mission, so I should go check on them. Wow, that was a really good haul. They did really good. Definitely these ships that I'm buying are starting to pay for themselves. Okay, really quick, let's see how much we make from selling the stuff that I'm not keeping from that expedition. Because that was actually pretty good. So I'm at 6.1 million. Yeah. I mean, we made like 600 grand off of that. Plus, I made almost 800 grand just in straight units. That was great. Like one and a half million. 
from that mission, plus like some material that I would actually keep. Actually, what I should have did, because all I, the system that I'm in, like my system, has a trade for ionized cobalt. Yeah, see, but when I first sold it, it was like when I didn't have that much. So I only reduced the economy to 17%. So I'm pretty sure that I could still profit. Well, I, I guarantee that I could still profit money by selling and rebuying. Because it's only a negative 17. And I should have enough ionized cobalt to completely crash the market to negative 80% at this point. So, ooh, that's an S-Class. 28.8. I can technically afford that. I think. Um, it's not bad. It actually has a higher damage output than my fighter, which is hilarious because it's a shuttle and then slightly better shield strength. I would have to improve the hyperjet, but that's not bad. I can technically buy this. It's an S class. So that's pretty cool. I mean, we gain a lot of inventory slots for this. I'm, like, tempted to do this. I mean, we keep our current ship. It's not like we lose it. But I would have to install some upgrades because my current ship has a lot of upgrades to it. And I would never exchange it. I'm, I would keep my ship. I think I'm going to do this. Boop, 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 boop. Look at that. Finally got a new ship. Yeah. It's not a bad looking vessel. I would say it's definitely an improvement, but we need to... Let's get inside. Let's check out the cockpit. God, we've had the Crystal Folly for so long. I feel bad. But it's still there. It'll go to our command ship. So, it's not like we lose it or something. Okay, so it has automatic recharging for the uh, launch thrusters. So, that already is huge. Uh, that's really nice. So, we, n we literally never have to make or buy launch fuel again. It'll just automatically recharge. And this is something that I've been wanting to get and just haven't gotten around to. So, that's very useful. And then it's got this so the phase beam has an upgrade to it okay wait the phase beam has an upgrade to it but i don't have a phase beam this is a phase beam upgrade there's no phase beam installed <laughs> am i crazy nope no phase beam okay <laughs> okay so i do want some upgrades Oh my god, yeah, I don't have the economy scanner or anything. Okay, hold on. We need to figure this out. Because now we can't do anything until we get this thing set up. So, obviously, we need a cadmium drive. Which I should have the necessary ingredients for that in my base. We don't need that. Uh, we definitely want this. And that. Okay. Okay, I have the ingredients for all of that. So I can make all those things. And then I guess the only other thing I need to do is like actually upgrade it. So let's see if there's any upgrades that I can buy here. How exciting. Well, I can I can get an upgrade to the pulse engine and I can get an upgrade to my photon cannon, both of which would be good. And then I mean I can get a class A upgrade for the hyperdrive, which I would be okay with. 11% boost, 6% maneuverability, 20% pulse drive fuel efficiency. Okay, I'll take that. I just wanted a little bit more maneuverability, which we got, but all that other stuff isn't necessarily bad, so I'll take that. Uh, the hyperdrive, this I need to come out pretty decent. Okay, that's actually pretty good. 100% efficiency was what I was looking for, which we got, so that's good. We get twice as twice uh, the jumps from our fuel cells and 152 additional light years of distance is pretty close to what I had on my other ship 
So we're doing okay. Um, 6% damage, 3% fire rate, 3% heat dispersion. Also, not bad. I'll take it. 6% damage is pretty good. It already had a better damage output. Now it has an even more better damage output. So, outstanding. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. But it needs a phase beam. Cool. Well, we're going to test this bad boy out here in a minute. Um, I think what I'm going to do, since I just spent all my money, I have 100000 is I'm going to... I'm going to buy some wiring looms. I only have... I have like seven, I think, back at home. Oh my god, I literally can't because I don't have any money. Okay, hold on. Stop everything. Uh, we're going to jump back to our base. Install what upgrades we can based on what we have. But then we're going to get all of our ionized cobalt and come back. Because we need money now, desperately. I had literally just barely enough. Like, if I hadn't randomly sold that uranium that I picked up, I wouldn't have had enough. That's how close we were. The only downside, of course, is that the Crystal Folly has 16 equipment slots, and this one has 8, uh, which is still a lot, though. That's the thing. Like, 8 isn't bad. But we're going to have to take up some of these slots, so that's the only thing that sucks. Okay. So the only thing I need is a phase beam, which I need to go to the anomaly to learn how to make that, which I don't <clears throat> which I don't feel like doing right now. So let's take care of this money situation, shall we? So this is one of the reasons why I wanted a new ship. Because we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 14, 15, 16. So we're taking up 16 slots with ionized cobalt. We couldn't do that in our old ship. Not without completely emptying its inventory to make room. And, like, obviously I can fit it in my inventory. But, like, you know, if I'm in a system where I'm holding on to some things or whatever... You know, maybe there there could come a time where I wouldn't have my own inventory available, and I would, you know, have to use the ship inventory, and I just wouldn't have the space, and that was like my fear. So, okay, this isn't going to be perfect since this system already has a negative seventeen percent uh, on the trade value for ionized cobalt, but we should still make some good money here. So, deionized cobalt. Now, if I sold it all, if I sold everything and didn't buy it back, I would make 50 million. But we're going to see how much we make if I actually buy it all back. Plus, there's a remaining balance, so. Oh my god. What the fuck? Okay, we got it all back. We have 30, almost 35 million. <laughs> The economy was already negative 17% and we made almost 35 million. <laughs> what the fuck? I love this game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So we just instantly got way more money than we need for sure. Okay. So let's go put all this back. I don't want to like fly around with that much crap on me. Oh my god, this game. It's also it's worth noting that not only did we make almost 35 million, but we actually gained ionized cobalt. I think we gained like 1,800 ionized cobalt or something like that. Like, because the, they had ionized cobalt available to buy and we bought it. So we gained a material and almost 35 million. Oh, it's just so good. No, see, it claims. I think it's trying to tell me. That little house-shaped icon is suggesting that I can get the farmer here. But I don't know where. 
Oh, wait, no, there's a farm icon or like a plant icon. Maybe that means I can get one here. Oh, God, where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Yeah, maybe I can get it here. Oh, here we go. Potential farmer recruit. Nice. Okay. And corrupt archive data. Oh, my God. Both my missions are in the same system. I have a system, to, uh, a mission to go to a different system for the archive thing. Okay, perfect. I hope I, I need to, like, I should have kept some of the ionized cobalt on me just to encourage a pirate to attack me. Because I really want to, like, try out the, uh, the ship, you know? Because it's not a fighter. So the maneuverability shouldn't be as good, but you never know. Like, I just wanted to, you know, see what it's about. Oh, this guy's cool looking. I'll take him. Cool. Alright, so we got, we got our farmer. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I forgot... To check if this system sold ionized cobalt. How am I going to become a millionaire? Oh, wow. These guns. Holy shit. Look at the cooldown on them. Well, that's why my damage output was better. The cooldown on these guns is awesome. Okay, cool. Anyway. So, we need to summon the anomaly because we have to expand our thing like always. But we also need to... See if we can purchase the uh, thing that lets us build a phase Gilly Fango, so may as well. Now, we could have used the teleportation thingy here to go back to our home base, but like I said, we forgot to check to see if they sell ionized coal. So we'll check that. We'll go home, talk to our new farmer, but then I want to finish today with our journey to the next like atlas thingy so we're gonna do that whoa what the fuck what does this gain me what did that just do I'm so confused, guys. Okay. Just for your guys' sake, I googled what to do with these guys. So when it gave me that message, I took a picture of it with my phone. Because I figured it was significant. And I also figured I wouldn't be able to figure it out, like, on the fly. So if I take out the first, second, seventh, and eighth digits from the code that it gave me, apparently that will give me the hexacode for this system so basically like if you wanted to use one of those portals to come back to this system like that's how you would do it and i'm gonna be honest with you like that's kind of stupid like i got all excited because i was like whoa how weird and how interesting but like is that interesting no because i'm already here it's like, I don't need you to give me a code on how to get here. You know? Give me a code on how to get to something I've never been to. Don't give me a code to something that I've already... That I'm at. This uh, quest, by the way, guys, is fully bugged. I've tried several times, and it's not working. And there's no way to reset it. I've tried to, like, maybe I can, like, reset it somehow. But I can't. So I think I literally just can't do this primary mission, which is, like, so upsetting. Besides the fact that, like, I want to do it, but, like, also because, like, for your guys' sake, like, we just, we, we can't experience it, and it's really frustrating, and I have not found a solution. I've Googled the hell out of it, and I just can't figure it out. This is fun. I've actually never done the farming terminal, so I'm looking for... I wanted to do all these terminals, because I've never done all of them before. So I'm really looking forward to this. I've never even started the agriculture one before. So it's going to be fun to do something, like, completely different, you know? So we need frost crickles... Frost crickles? <laughs> frost crystals and dioxide. I don't know that I have all that. 
I know I have some dioxide. I don't know if I have any frost crystals. I don't. And I, so we need to go to a frozen environment. And I haven't really... I've seen one, obviously. But I don't remember where that was. It's been a while. So we're probably going to put that on hold. But if we see a frozen planet as we go through our adventures, then we'll grab it. Easy peasy. Hmm. It's not bad. But honestly, now that I have... Uh, you know, better uh, income. Like, I can get a little bit picky, you know? Like, when you first start out, you gotta get a couple C classes just to, you know, get your fleet started. But, you know, we're gonna get picky now. Oh, there you go. Now we're talking. Well, I don't know, though. It's kind of weird. So it's an S class. Oh yeah, no, this is good. Holy shit. Dude, are you kidding me? <sighs> He's got negative 15, negative 9, negative 3, negative 6 for the expedition fuel cost. Like, whoa. Plus his stats. Like, he actually adds stats to the whole mixture. Of course I'm hiring you. Holy hell, dude. See, that's what I've been looking for. Like a proper... A proper ship. Oh my god, we got a Vakeen dagger. Holy shit. <laughs> I've had this quest for ages now. To get two Vakeen daggers, and I have not been finding any. The fact that we just got one is a huge deal. Now I just need one more. It's been so, it's been like a meme how much I've needed the keen daggers only to like literally never get one. Small system only has two planets. This might be a hop skip and a jump if there's only two planets if one if <laughs> that's only two options of something interesting. The conflict level is critical? Golly. <gasps> Frost crystals! Oh my god, it actually, there is a frozen planet. Well, we had a 1 in 2 chance, and booyah. And then where's the other planet? <laughs> where's the other planet? It's fucking <laughs> massive. Okay, they're both frozen. Interesting. Well, this one is a normal frozen planet. And this one is infested, which is technically a good thing, I guess, because you can you can get stuff from it. But um, I'm gonna pass. I'm just gonna go to the normal frozen planet. <sighs> but I'm gonna spend a hot minute here, or a cold minute. <laughs> because I, I really want to collect a lot of this. I don't want to have to make my way to a frozen planet again like anytime soon. Fucking land somewhere. Land anywhere. Land, 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 land. Landing, landing, land, land. Fuck, dude. <laughs> How many surfaces do I have to fly over before you finally decide to land? Look at this thing. What the fuck? Look at its legs. It's like a four sets of legs, but each one is three legs. You are the weirdest thing ever. Man, I came all this way because it was like the only other dioxide I could see. And it's like the smallest formation of it ever. What is pathetic. Puny pile of dioxide. Ridiculous. Well, we only got 340 dioxide, but we got a ton of frost crystals. So I, I feel good about the frost crystals. That's just such a... God, there's even... Oh, no, that's a frozen tuber. Well, I'll go get that too, because how often do I run into those? But yeah, not... 
not the best. I'm definitely disappointed. This planet did not help us much. Three fifty three. Math. Suck it. That was actually one of the more challenging ones because it you actually had, I, I needed my calculator to figure that one out. Well, I was going to leave this planet, but I guess I have one last thing I need to do. Um, what? Oh, there it is. 12 hours, holy shit. But yeah, if that's 12 hours, like we need to go to space so that we can jump to it, because that's gonna, 12 hours is definitely like on the other side of the planet. That's way too far. Or maybe not. It's a big ass planet. <laughs> a distress beacon is probably a crashed ship. Which, I mean, I can technically recover it, like just for the fun of it, but I doubt it's going to be something that I want to switch to. Like, I have a pretty solid ship right now. This would have to be really, really good to want to like actually keep it because if it's a distress beacon that means whatever the ship is it's damaged and it's going to be expensive to repair it and nobody wants to mess with all that this wouldn't have been a terrible ship if i hadn't already got a ship i mean it's class b it's got a fair amount of slots it's got a decent amount of technology slots it's just like not worth the trouble i don't even know if i want to add it to my collection <sighs> All right, well, whatever. I added it to the collection. I'm not keeping it, though. No shot. Like, I'm not even going to fix it. Like, the last time I did this, like, for um, Artemis's ship, I at least repaired it. But this one, like, I'm not even bothering to repair. Because I'm actually curious what will happen. So it's a damaged ship, which means it, you know, theoretically can't take off, right? So if I claim it, but then leave it there <laughs> like an asshole, uh, does it, yeah, because the last one I fixed and then it was on, like, will it be parked on my ship and just broken or like, will it not even take off and I'm just going to like lose it and it's going to forever be here, <laughs> you know, like I'm actually, I'm pretty curious about that. So it's worth it to science it, I guess. I really wanted to reach the Atlas today because in the beginning of the video we did a lot of just like running around for like little side quest type things which kind of ended up being the majority of the video really but um, and although I'm sure scale is editing this down pretty good but <laughs> this is probably the longest recording I've ever done for no Man's Sky, and for scale, my editor's sake, I would say it's probably time to stop. Because <laughs> I've I've uh, been recording now for two and a half hours, and uh, he's probably not thrilled about it. So yeah, we're gonna help scale out, and I'm gonna wrap up here. I'm just uh, the only things that I'm gonna do is I have to expand my multi-tool because I have that thing. I'm going to sell out my inventory. Uh, I'm going to call the anomaly so I can expand my inventory on that. And that's it. I'm going to go back to my base and just plant that new plant. Like I'm just going to, you know, so uh, nothing super critical that you guys need to be here for. You just got the update. You know what you're missing out on. So the next episode though, 100% guarantee we will make it to the next Atlas inter uh, interface. So and then, you know, we'll fit in some side questing while we're at it. So thanks for coming out, everybody. I appreciate you hanging out with me. I appreciate the support as always. And I will see you next time.